What's up, YouTube? This is Ralph Eats and my guest host, Tia. Tia. And in the spirit of Halloween, we're trying Vampire Wine. Ooh. Cabernet Sauvignon from Vampire Vineyards. Um, we already opened it up. Let's try it out. Where should it go? Time for some blood. Mm, smells sweet. Hmm. Berries, blackberries. Oaky. Oaky. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. It's not sweet. It's not dry. It's a little sweet. But it's not, a cab. Not real sweet. It's good. It's not bad. I looked up some reviews and they were pretty good. So it's not they what's, what's the percentage on this? I don't I think it was twelve. It tastes like a twelve. Hmm. Is it telling you? I can't see. Or maybe in the front. Yeah, it's right here. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, not bad. Tastes smooth enough. It's uh, produced in the Napa Valley. Mm -hmm. Vampire.com. I'm like I said, I'm not a wine guy, but this actually tastes pretty good. Yeah. One more. So, what would you compare this? What would you pair this with? Steak. Steak. Steak is good. It's good with this. It's what we have. We have some steak, guys. We have. The last time we did a review, steak. we were like, I wish we had some steak. So I'm like, hey, let's have some steak this time. So I'm going to see how, if it tastes any different. The steak is tender. Yeah. It's um sirloin, right? It's a little awesome. bit of the Montreal seasoning. Oh man. Mm -hmm. mm. I actually brought a little bit of goat cheese, which I wanna try on top of the You can put onions and mushrooms on top of the steak, it's good too. And grilled and grilled onions and mushrooms. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. I'm gonna turn into a wine drinker. Mm -hmm. Damn. He's he just... was, he told me he was not a wine drinker. I'm like, mm. And now he's starting to like wine. This is not bad. This one I like. I've had ones that, whoa. This one's got like a little bit of a kick of sweetness at the end, which is. Kind of like the aftertaste. Yeah. You taste the berry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think it's because your palate has grown, expanded. So now you're uh, more accustomed to drinking wine, and you can taste the difference, and you know. 
I got sophisticated, guys. Mm. Just kidding. We just, we've only done red wine so far. There are some white wines that are good, but some of the other white wines might be a little dry for you. The reason why so. I've only picked red wines is because if you look at her collection, there's only one rosé. They're all red. Mm -hmm. Because I drink all the white ones. Oh. <laughs> okay. I have more reds than white. Yeah, I, I, it's right off the top I could see nine reds. Mm -hmm. One rosé. And what is this one at the end? Like a champagne kind? Yeah, it's a champagne. And my favorite. She's got a little Jack Daniels with like maybe a shot in it. A little left. That's my favorite. Have you had the Gentleman Jack? Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? It's a little smoother. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit smoother, and that's what I thought. A little bit smoother than the regular. Mm -hmm. It's good. I have a bottle at home. One thing that I want to do hmm. is I want to do different types of bourbons. I'm sorry, I had blood coming down my... Um, the vampire. Vampire. Mm -hmm. Maybe that right there. That's not good. So yeah, it's not bad. All right, that's good. Um, we're not, we're not gonna drink all of it, so I'm gonna leave it for her. But a little damage there. So what do you think? What, what would you rate this? Our first cab, by the way, right? For for that for Napa Valley. It's actually not bad. Um, I would probably give it about an 8.5. Wow. Okay. I would agree with her because, I, like I said, it's, it's pretty smooth. It's not nasty at all. Mm -hmm. It's drinkable. Mm -hmm. 8.5, guys, all the, all the way. Like, I actually got this. Um, you can get it anywhere, I'm sure. But I got this at 9.99. Good price. Nine ninety nine or eight ninety nine. One. I got the, two bottles. I don't know which one was. I think this one was nine ninety nine. For the quality of the quality of the wine, um, that's actually not a good. Um, actually, a very good price. Not a bad price. Mm. Um, you know, because um, there are wines that taste just like this that are maybe twenty dollars. So it's actually not bad. Let's take a show Isn't that good? I think we caught it just right. Yes. Medium. And I wanted to just point out that I looked up, I looked it up to see if, if it had any ratings, reviews. And like I said, the reviews were good. And they average around 10 to $12 the bottle. So, so it's pretty affordable and it's very good. We recommend it. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So thanks for watching this one. And we have one other bottle coming soon. Hello Kitty. Stay tuned for that one. Meow.